that. We, are, we don't want to face this matter with the seriousness. Let me give an example, sir. Senator Malafa will tell you that wherever there is killing in Zamfara, those people who perpetrated this thing came on motorbikes. So for a short period of time, it's better for them, for the people to do with the inconvenience of not having the convenience of transporting the same by motorbike than for us to now totally ban the use of motorbike in Zafara State. This is one, one action that you can take that will significantly alter the entire thing. The entire Zamfara State and the part of neighboring KB State will ban the use of motorbike so that at least this will give police two issues. One, it means whoever is seen on motorbike, the first presumption is that he is a killer and then he should be arrested. But we don't want to do this simply because for political reason people will say they have been barred from having access to that. The second aspect, Mr. President, is that these people come to town, we have seen on videos, with this motorbike, carrying guns with them and then buying fuel. And we've been told that nothing has been done. That's what we've been told, sir, despite the presence of army and everybody in Zamfara. But I think more disturbing, sir, I don't know whether my colleagues have watched one video. I think I sent it to you, DSP. We are somebody in Zamfara, I think 27 years old man, is making fortune by telling people that he has charm that can guard them from uh, 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 being gone down. Uh, I, I don't, they call it Magani Bindig or whatever. I, I don't know how to describe it, sir. Because it's so stupid that you begin to wonder what exactly is happening. And then in that interview, most of the people who were interviewed by NTA, NTA, sir, they said, well, we go to this man because this man has medicine that will prevent gun from killing us. And that how do you get this medicine? In, in the video, you can see, sir, that they will drink water and some concoctions. And in fact, one of them even attempted to try to say, oh, shoot me, and then he was gone down. That is to tell you the level of irresponsibility that is happening there. Sir, it's all a matter of strategy, sir. If today the government says that they, it has banned, you, even if you deploy the entire army in Zamfara, provided the root cause of the problem is not attacked, we're going to have this problem. So first action that I would suggest, sir, as chairman of the National Assembly, the legislative intervention that we can do, sir, is to summon the speaker of the Zamfara State House of Assembly to face a committee here where we will draft laws that they should go immediately and pass it. And then the, we now ask the police and the army to enforce it. Nobody should be seen on bike, and it's going to be a temporary issue, sir, maybe for three months. All over the world, when we have problems like this, there is what is referred to as sunset law that lasts within a given period of time to enable the security assess really the situation. But every day we keep on talking about this, we have not seen one strategy that is targeted at the root cause of this problem. Deployment is not sufficient. We already have a statistic that all the attacks that were done were done by people who came on motorbike. So what do you do? Demobilize them, remove motorbike first. Let them not have access to motorbike. Let me see if somebody will go and attack a village by, 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 by trekking and then if he can escape. So these are the situations, sir. And I think that it's high time we begin to redirect the thinking of security agents in respect of control strategies relating to issue of kidnapping, issue of, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, killing in, in, in Zamfara and, and, and neighboring area. Thank you very much. Senator Pinter.